Emergency managers want us to get prepared now in case of more outages or hazardous driving conditions this winter. Yeah, new special share of Park join us live with uh, their advice on what you can put inside that 72 hour kit tonight. Share. Dini, my good evening to you guys. All right, 72 hour kits come in all shapes and sizes. In fact, we've got this one here from inside our KSL vehicle. This one is a beast. It's intense. It's very heavy. It's got everything for all kinds of emergencies. But if you're starting from scratch, that's okay. Just start with some of the basic items from your house. When winter weather hits Utah, it hits hard. So if you haven't already, it's time to prepare. The name of the game for disaster preparedness is being prepared. That means to do it beforehand. At Be Ready Utah, emergency managers suggest a 72-hour kit for each member of your family. It's important that you have a disaster supply kit, not only at home where you might be in an emergency, but any place else where you spend time. These kits don't need to be complicated. Start with items in your house, bottles of water, granola bars, a portable charger, and toilet paper. You're not done until you do the paperwork. Grab a warm blanket and a jacket, but make sure to stay away from cotton. Because cotton clothing holds moisture next to your skin, and, make, and when it evaporates, it makes you more cold. A flashlight and batteries are great, and so is a first aid kit. But something you might not have considered is a candle and matches. Believe it or not, inside a car, a single candle can raise the inside of a car 10 to 15 degrees, and that could be enough to be a lifesaver. Brian Stinson suggests jotting down important numbers and insurance yeah, info and putting that in your kit with some extra cash. Also, if you've got a whistle, throw that in too. Three blasts on a whistle, tweet, tweet, tweet. That's the international sign of distress. There are dozens of things that you can put in your 72-hour kit, and Be Ready Utah has them all listed on their website. But the bottom line is, just get started with the basics. Don't worry about having the perfect kit yet. Just start putting those things together, and over time, you can incrementally upgrade that and get a better kit. And each kit should be personalized, and so things like contacts, medications, things like that, make sure that those are in there as well. If you're building a kit for your car, like this one, uh, Stinson also suggests making sure you have some kitty litter, maybe some rock salt in there, and perhaps a small shovel in case as you're driving around this winter, you get you're able to help yourself and get out of that situation. Uh, Dini and Mike, we will definitely put that list from Be Ready Utah. It's their disaster supply kit list on our website at ksltv.com. We'll send it back inside to you. That information on the candle, both Dini and I were like, wow, I had no clue. That's pretty valuable. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Yep. All right, stock up on a few of those candles. Thank you, Shara.